This is Jeremiah. Let's get going. We're on uh, an October lesson and just a monthly lesson where we bounce around and we mention a few things here and mention a few things there. And we'll, every now and then we will tie subjects together. Most of the time we will not do that unless we're going to the April Matrix uh, lesson, which is going to get probably, it's going to get big here. Right now it hasn't even basically begun, but I'm, I'm really focusing on that quite a bit in the future. We will continue to read a lot and mention a few issues. Now, we've gotten to some of the most important parts of your Bible. Thessalonians is one of the, one of the key parts of your Bible, without a doubt. It's, it's, Paul mentions almost everything that's pertinent to living bread. You know, you know, living bread is basically requirements of you as you're walking on this earth. Um, but it doesn't mean that that's... The, the, the entire Bible is a living word. It, it's, it's all living water. It's all living... And it's all alive. But the reason why I isolate living bread, it, it, that usually deals with commandments. Okay? Don't get lost. Okay, we're usually dealing with commandments here. Pardon me. And we're, de we're dealing with commandments. That's the big issue. As Paul just said that, he just we, we just read that. Let's move on, which, which was actually uh, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, chapter 4, verse 2. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord. See, so all of this is from the Lord. And, of course, if you know the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know it's centered on denial. For those of you who went to number 11 in this ministry, you know that, that living bread is what I call it, which is basically commandments. These are things that are required of you and, and not discussions about things that are not necessarily required of you. Well, the Bible talks about a lot of things that are not necessarily required of you. What makes the Bible difficult is that most of the things that we read in the New Testament talk about things that are required of you. For instance, in, in uh, chapter 3 uh, of 1 Thessalonians, verse 13, we have, we have, get your act together and be holy so you can go to the rapture. Or, or the battle of Armageddon, you can go. You can be with the Lord when he comes back when he, to the battle of Armageddon, you're with him. But in order to get there, he gives a qualification for your hearts to be established in blameless and holiness. Well, there, there you go. It's very simple. It's not that difficult to understand at all. But you, you, some of you may have to concentrate more than you're used to or something. I don't know what you, what, what, what my viewers are thinking and so forth, but I do know that it's not that difficult to put two and two together here, and that's what I just did. And very seldom, on, on, on a, fair, a rare occasion, will I give you a major, uh, April Matrix teachings, which is, you know, covenant, covenant means that the criteria, criteria is special criteria that you must pay attention to, and, and, and you, have to, you must put confidence, especially in the special criteria, and that confidence and being persuaded is going to be wise for you to do, uh, uh, where was wisdom found, and then now you are wise and faithful. You made a good decision, and you were trustworthy. You were worth me giving you, you my initiation, which Paul mentions a thousand times that we've been reading here in these little books here, where he says, uh, I, uh, did I do it in vain? And, you know, if you, if you don't stand, I, I wasted my time. You know, it, it's all in vain of chapter 3, verse 5. We tie things together here, and it's not that difficult. This is Jeremiah with New Covenant, and, and for those of you having a problem tying things together, you, you'll get this. Now let's get into the dead, and Christ shall rise first. Woo, the rapture. I want to do the rapture uh, lesson, but I don't have it here. But maybe tomorrow we'll get to that. We have to get to that every, every other week or so. No, we, we're, we're three weeks late on it, so... Same thing goes for agape. We, agape is a tough issue. We have to go through it all the time because it is the key to everything. It's where everything starts and finishes is, is agape. And holy 
Thessalonians is mentioned here quite a few times in Thessalonians. Which, which, which in America we would say, get your act together and, get, and let the filth go. Okay, the, okay Paul has a different way of talking. I, I, we're reading his scriptures. I'm just giving you my quick take on it, you know, from an American perspective. Get out of the trash. Okay, that's, uh, you know what that is. Uh, if you don't know, we'll, we'll teach you. Let, let's continue. Jeremiah, are you on fire? Is this new covenant? Yes, it is. New covenant ministry. I'm Jeremiah, but Jeremiah, your Bible teacher or your fellow student. There's only one teacher. There's only one rabbi. That's Jesus Christ, and we just love him, and we want to please him. And we, we were talking about healing earlier in the previous video because we're having some health issues. And we're just going to continue to be good soldiers, like Paul told Timothy. A good soldier of Jesus Christ. So this is war. This is war here. The, the war's not over yet. The war's not over till all the bombs stop. Where is that? That's chapter 3, verse 5. There's bombs right there. Chapter 3, verse 5. There you go. Enticements, bombs. They haven't gone anywhere. There's a guy drives by with a stereo so loud it hurts my ears, kind of. Okay, the, the war's not over. That guy's probably committed murder. Usually, my, my earth father taught me this. And of course, that, that means father taught me this. That usually when people do something really rude, they'll do something else rude. If someone's kind to you in the grocery store, they'll probably be kind to you in the parking lot. These guys are drive by with these stereos, but I don't know how the FCC allowed them to get these uh, stereos and so forth. I don't know how they should have never allowed them to come into existence. I can hear I can hear the stereo 100 yards away, 50 yards easy, 100 yards plus I can hear any. A lot of these stairs, they come by and it hurts my ears a little. And, and the thing is, is that if they're willing to do that and be rude, they're, they're probably willing to smack you upside the head and, and they probably committed murder or attempted murder or something. The word is lawlessness, another name for the, for the beast, right? In the book of Revelation. Seven year tribulation, tribulation period. Let's get to the rapture. If we lift up our hands unto thy name, thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name with hearts, hands, and voices, everything we have. As we pray for God to be gracious unto us and merciful unto us, to be multiplied unto you and unto me. Let's continue with our work here. Um, I think I have one more video after this one. We're going to go into uh, 31 Flavors. I'm going to go into the Matrix. And I was going to get into what we have on the music channel, but I don't, we probably won't have time. I was going to have quite a few videos. I'm going to shorten these videos, and we're only going to have a few. We're going to read, and I'm going to shut down. A lot more reading, so... Um, but we're in some heavy stuff here. We're, 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 in the heart of, we're in the heart of the Bible right now. It's very difficult. We can't go quick here at all. We, we, it's just, this is the heart of the entire Bible here. Because these are the commandments of Jesus Christ. And you're, you're right in the thick of salvation here. You're right on the, you know, this is it. And, and let's get into that, which is it. And indeed ye do it towards all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Basically, we, in America, we say mind your own business, okay? That ye may walk honestly towards them that are without, and that they may have lack of nothing. So people who don't have anything, we're here to help fill that need. Okay? Very simple. Now, verse 11 of chapter 4, we, we can't go by this either. Mind your own business, and in England they say, get out of it.
but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a couple of instances in only a few chapters where we have references to people who are asleep, who are dead in Jesus Christ, and some of them who are dead, who are with Jesus Christ. Absent from the body is present with the Lord. So we have two references to the same state of being. But let's let that go for now, because what he's talking about is the rapture now, and that the people who have, who have been dead, either they're with the Lord or not, they're going to rise up, and they're going to be with, they're going to be with we who are, who are on the earth alive. But they go first to the cloud, and we go second to the cloud. Let, let, let's read it. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. We're not going to stop them who are sleeping. They're coming too, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Whoa, is this a monster or what? Well, some people cross-reference this with Matthew 24 and so forth, other references, but with the ascension and so forth, when Jesus came in the cloud, and he disappeared in the cloud with the angels. And this is beautiful stuff here. We, we talk about this all the time because this is our life here. The ascension of Jesus Christ is our life. That, that's all we talk about here. The ascension and, and, come, and Jesus Christ, the dead in Christ shall rise first. That's all we talk about here over and over again. Now, obviously, we, we have regular Bible study here. We, I just gave you a half of your gospel, half of the Bible. Paul, Paul gives you like half of the Bible in, in two chapters. He does it over and over again. Endurance, toughness. You were you were appointed. You said you were appointed unto this, and you know the, the uh, chapter three, verse three. You yourselves know that you are appointed thereunto. Very good grammar from this gentleman here. You were appointed to this activity. He says, we were appointed. So it's all of us, okay? We told you, we, we, we. Uh, I saw a TV bozo who said, no, here, you, you should have chocolate and luxury and soft pudding as a Christian. And uh, if you're smart like me, yeah, we, we don't believe in you, 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 you facing tribulation. When Paul said that you're supposed to suffer tribulation thereunto, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I, I'm, you know, which makes him a heretic. A lot of people on TV around the corner here, they're all heretics. They're twister donuts, they're liars, and they're craft. They're satanic, aren't they? Yeah, liars are, are satanic. Let's continue with the good stuff here about being with Jesus Christ. As many of you know, the, the second half of chapter 4 is a, is, is, a, is, a, is a fried egg. It's a sizzler, isn't it? I mean, my goodness. Woo! It, it's, it's what we're here for. I, I'm not here to listen to this guy ride by this... This thug drive by here. Now, now, my job is to try to save him. Don't, don't, don't you misunderstand me. Nobody is necessarily too far from being saved. But it's awfully irritating uh, to listen to somebody bother you. You're trying to concentrate. And you also know that they're thinking wickedness. The music is telling them that they're thinking wickedness. They're, they're, they're beating a woman or something. They're doing something sickening. That, that's common sense. In general. That guy's not going to go home and get on his knees and say, Jesus, what is thy bidding? Uh, uh, where is somebody hurting? He's not going to do that. Because the music is telling you it's power. It's, it's about power. The Bible says, and power was given to the beast. And that beast who drives by here was given the power to do what he's doing. There was a politician on TV the other day on, on the web, and he was going, "Yeah, I, uh, you can't, you can't catch me what I did, you know. Yeah, so I did steal something, you know. This is what happens to people when they, when, when the devil gives them power, and they enjoy it. 
they know they're being abusive and lying and cheating but they're what they're enjoying and then they get they tell you well we don't care what you think and you can't really do anything because and power was given to the beast and you are considered as sheep for slaughter all day long Paul said and some of you are saying I thought we had power over demons and scorpions and the Lord will crush Satan under your feet Christianity is a little complicated people one minute uh, uh, Peter is, is rejoicing and the boys over over telling demons to go fly a kite and leave that person alone and then he's healing people and then a couple of years later he's getting beat up half to death and for the name of Jesus Christ and the gospel uh, going out into the world so so Christianity is a little complicated isn't it Kindergarten's over in Bible study. We just talked about healing, and, and one of the main scriptures for healing is if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. James, we, we seek the will of the Lord basically first all the time. Oh, moon, turn green, you know, we powers of God. Let's jump off that building. God will save us. All this tricks and TV preacher stuff and tricks and games and I have power. Woo-hoo! You know, Christianity is a little more complicated than just having power, isn't it? If Peter's beat half to death and he rejoices over being beaten because he's preaching the gospel, he was rejoicing because he's doing exactly what the master told him to do. In Matthew chapter 5, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for so they did the prophets who were before you, meaning blessed are you who are beaten periodically for the gospel. That's what blessed means. Which means kindergarten's over, people. Sunday school's over. It's time for you to become an adult. Use your brain and join the, 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 the Quakers over here. You, you can put these thoughts together. I had a relative tell me years ago when I was doing some janitor work before I retired, and, and they said that, I don't understand the Bible, blah, blah, blah. And I, I got ready to tell him, I, I bet you know every stat statistic for basketball. I bet you know every statistic. But you can't tell me that the first thing we do is thy will be done, and you pray, and then if the Lord wants you to put faith and, and, and go get healed at the church, go ahead. That, that, that's part of Christianity too. But first you seek thy will. What is thy will, Master? Give me this day my daily bread. Thy will be done, as James said. Which you ought to say what the what the Lord's will is. You, you can't add that to your discourse. Yes, you can. Ask in my name, okay? I don't know what that means. Yes, you do. You, you, you know, you ask for things that are in line with the building up of the church, not for you getting some toy or something. Christianity was never made for you to have a toy, uh, especially in these serious times. You should be doing what I'm doing. Some of you get out there and teach and preach. And even, if, even if no one's basically listening, just go. Somebody will listen. Our viewership has dropped dramatically here because people are really getting into the world now. People are really into basketball, violence, sports. They, they're into the flesh and it's spreading like a disease. Uh, but the bottom line is that that has nothing to do with you. Noah preached and nobody got saved. You go out there and do what you're supposed to do. Okay? Now, we just mentioned the rapture. I'm going to take a break and come back with another video. I'll be right back. As a matter of fact, we're going to save chapter 5. We're going to go slow right now. We're, we're, we're doing a decent job. Uh, I want to get through the New Testament this, this year, so we're, we should do that easily. And we can also add Psalm. We're in the 50s right now, and we're in Isaiah. We'll probably come right back. Excuse me. And we looked at 50, 50 which, was, which is a monster, um, um, uh, talking about gather my saints together unto me. That's the rapture right there. Remember, the Bible has the same thing over and over again. It says the same thing. Here we have it more along the lines of cancer, or the, 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 the Hebrew word, which is ursa, and it's gathering. 
Okay, so so it's it's a, it's a different perspective on the rapture. We just looked at the rapture. Now we go to fifty point five in, in Psalm, and now we're looking at the rapture from another perspective, and th this time it's based upon a covenant. First it was holiness gets you to the battle of Armageddon with the Lord. Now it is gathered to me holy once again. So holiness is again mentioned in five fifty five. For you, for, for you to, be, to be, be with the Lord. Be with the Lord in the rapture. Be with the Lord when he comes back to the earth. So be with the Lord is holy two times. That's all simple. So that's how easy your Bible can get. And Jeremiah is here to take you there. And, 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 let, and let's, combine, let's combine holiness and purity to saints. Well, that's what, that's what the word means. And gather them is, is the rapture. And gather them is people because you, you hungered and thirsted after righteousness. And that makes you a saint. And now he's going to gather you. And that's the first criteria. Then it's based upon also making a covenant with him, an agreement with him, that you're going to be a denial living bread eater on your table. You're going to eat those commandments basically based upon living bread, which is denial. And, and take it all, Lord Jesus, this morning. Uh, what is thy bidding? I'm going to exchange everything in my field for you, the pearl, the love of Jesus, and eternal life. And Christianity repeats the same thing over and over again. And I'm here to take you through that. And I, I don't enjoy anything more than this myself. This will be healing to the bones for you. Um, it, 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 as my dad said so poignantly uh, or perfectly that uh, you overcome evil by doing good. That's how we're going to uh, get healed sometimes, you guys out there, you people out there, you male, female, and uh, no aliens. Are done. <laughs> uh, this alien stuff is a big joke for us Christians. We, uh, alien is a devil, people, in case you didn't know that. Now, let, 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 let's go. So I'm going to shut down. I'm going to come back. I'm going to get into the playlist. We're going to let Psalms go. I'm, I'm going to go to the playlist when I come back, okay? We're going to shut down on this. I'm going to go through um, 31 flavors, okay? I'll be right back. Maranatha. <laughs> 